Let me let you in on a secret. Korean barbecue isn't what you think it is. Korea has a long history of grilling meat dating back to the Goguryeo era. Records from then show mekjeok, a dish of seasoned and skewered meat roasting over a fire. Several hundred years later, mekjeok loses its skewers and evolves into bulgogi. We'll come back to bulgogi a little later. In the early Joseon dynasty, meat was usually boiled, steamed, stewed, or added to food like dumplings. Historically, grilling unseasoned raw meat wasn't common in the history of Korean food. Grilling beef without seasoning, for example, was called pangjagui and was a method used only by commoners who didn't have enough time to season meat. At the time, cows were used for farming, so it was common to slaughter old cows that could no longer work. In the case of chickens and pigs, meat was chopped into smaller pieces and marinated to make otherwise tough meat easier to eat. The only time grilled meat wasn't popular was during the Korea dynasty when Buddhism was the state religion. People refrained from eating meat in general, and panchan, or the assortment of side dishes that are a big feature of Korean meals, were etched into Korean cuisine. Side story. Alcoholic beverages have always been paired with grilled meat, but drinking culture and etiquette has been taught through sohak or lesser learning since the Joseon dynasty. Confucianism envisions a society where every individual has a rank determined either by age, family relation, or social status. And drinking rules in Korea are heavily influenced by Confucianism, specifically in regards to hierarchy and respect. Hangum Judea, which began in the 14th century, was an annual event held in October where Confucian scholars gathered to discuss important issues and drink. As such, it was a place where drinking etiquette and manners were taught. Some to note are, don't pour your own drink, a drink should be poured with both hands, a cup should be received with both hands, when cheersing, make sure your glass is slightly lower than your elder or senior, when drinking with elders or seniors, turn your face slightly to the side, and finish the first glass in one go. Hanlam Judea is all about showing respect, and to this day, Koreans learn drinking etiquette from their elders when they come of age. Anyways, how did Korean barbecue become such a thing, and what's the deal with bulgogi? Bulgogi, the sweet and savory marinated beef dish loved outside of Korea, isn't a top choice for barbecue barbecue in the country. While beef in general is a well-liked option for Korean barbecue, and there are people who prefer beef over pork, it's rarely a bulgogi form. Meat for barbecue in Korea is generally served raw and unseasoned, and the most popular cut is hamgyeopsal or pork belly, often referred to as the national meat of South Korea. According to the books Hamgyeopsal de Shizak, the term hamgyeopsal appears in a cookbook published in 1931. It wasn't popular at the time, as pork, having a lot of fat, spoiled more easily than beef. In the past, it was common to get food poisoning by eating pork meat. Pigs were fed food scraps and sludge which made pork have a distinct smell that made it difficult to serve without drowning out the stench with strong seasoning or masked in other foods. In the 1960s, Koreans started to raise pigs in large quantities to export pork to Japan. The Japanese preferred leaner cuts of meat for tonkatsu, so what remained were fatty cuts like pork belly as well as pig's heads, intestines, and legs. These cuts were incorporated into Korean dishes and today, other than grilled versions of the cuts, you'll see them in dishes like dojimori kukbak, sundae, and chokbae. The popularity of pork could be tied to the increase in meat consumption and economic development in the 1970s, which further grew and spread with the invention of the portable gas stove. Purusta, that began to be sold in the 80s, allowed people to enjoy samgyeopsal in the mountains, valleys, and even baseball fields. And then in 1994, samgyeopsal shows up in the standard Korean language dictionary of the National Institute of the Korean Language. So let me tell you what Korean barbecue is. Korean barbecue isn't barbecue at all. It's actually grilled meat, and in Korea, it's called kogigui. Kogigui restaurants feature a grill at the table, some are built into the center of the table itself, others are add-ons at the edge of the table, especially at restaurants where the meat is grilled for you. In either case, meat is brought to the table uncooked, and a large part of the meal is cooking the meat. The meal comes with a wide array of pantan. And here's how it works. You grill the meat at your table. Once cooked, cut the meat with scissors, layer a piece of lettuce with perilla leaf, mul, top it off with a piece of samgyeopsal, cooked garlic, samjang, and grilled kimchi, and eat the whole thing in one bite. Korean barbecue meals are finished off with bokumbap, fried rice, or naengmyeon, cold noodles, which are affectionately known as dessert. So next time you go to Korean barbecue, what are you going to order?